What's happened to you? Nothing. Jackie, what have you done? Oh, what's happened? Look at your face. Your mother will see to you. Oh, darling. Oh, my God. Listen to him. What? Albert, he doesn't care. Well, he likes to get the lawns done by five, Mum. Has to do the midweek as well as Sunday. Wednesday's his only day. A bit of grass, that's all he cares about. Well, he's methodical. It's a good point. Yeah, my lad, come and have your tea. Not struck on a tidy man, never was. Your father was never tidy. Always cleaning up after him, I was. He was a mess up till the day he died. Albert's different. <coughs> they laid him out tardy, though. Yes. Take after your grandfather, my lad, fighting. You gave as good as you got, I hope. Of course he did. I've got something in my eye. Have you, love? Where? I don't know. Let me see. It'll wash away with a few good tears. Oh, he's not going to let his daddy see him cry, are you? No. A few eye drops, that's what it wants. It hurts like mad. Does it? What were you fighting about? Nothing. Well, I think his daddy ought to get the car out and run him to the doctor. That I want seeing to. I never went into fighting. Didn't take after me. Take after your grandfather, don't you, love? Takes after someone. There you are, Mum. Thank you, love. Jackie, you had some grit in your eye. <clears throat> You'll be sore for an hour or two yet. Say thank you to the doctor. Thank you, doctor. That's all right, but don't rub it, will you? Now, wait outside, will you? I want a word with the doctor for a moment. If I may, doctor. Yes, of course. If you're busy, another time will do. Well, I'm fairly busy, but what is it? Ah. Uh, uh, I'd best be going. The lad will be wondering. How's Mrs. Carr? Oh, fine. And her mother? Oh, she's fine. That's working out all right now. Is it her living with you? Yes, it's, it's not that. Well, Mr. Carr, is it about Jackie or about yourself? It's about the boy. Oh. Well, is he not doing too well at school? Oh, he's bright enough in his own way. He's certainly very healthy. Yes, it's not that. A little shy, perhaps. It's getting to look very much like you, as a matter of fact. Time passes so quickly, doesn't it? What is he? Ten now? Ten. It'll be eleven soon. It's funny the older he gets, the more I notice. Notice what? Jeanette and I, when he was born, we weren't married. Jackie was six months old when we got married. I see. Germany, I was stationed out there. I didn't see Jeanette all that often. Your son is perfectly legitimate, Mr. Carr. I didn't uh, know her all that well. I used to see her when I came home on leave sometimes. We weren't engaged or anything. I understand. Nothing was fixed. I liked her. She was someone I knew when I came home. She'd other boyfriends, plenty younger than I was. I never said anything. A casual relationship, in fact. Marriage never entered my head. Then one day her father wrote to me. To say that she was pregnant? Yes. I'd defiled his daughter, he said, and a lot more. I see. He wrote to a CEO as well. These letters were written while you were in Germany? Yes. I was called up in front of the CEO. Decent chap he was. He asked me, you know, man to man, was I responsible? And were you? Well, I could have been, yes. I, I didn't know what to think. Like I said, she had other boyfriends. She was out somewhere every night. He asked me what I was going to do about it, and I said, I didn't know. I'd never fancied marriage, not much. 
I've got a posting. Time to think. And now you're worried because you feel that Jackie may not be your child after all, is that it? Yes. That's it. I thought about what to do for months. Christmas I spent in Berlin. Didn't come home. When I finally did, Jackie was three months old. I didn't know what to expect. Boy, girl, or what? Jeanette didn't write to you then? She wrote once. She said she was very happy about having a baby and that I mustn't worry. Uh, above all, she said I wasn't to take any notice of her father. Oh, so she didn't insist on the marriage? No. That's a good sign, I should have thought. Father threatened to throw her out if she didn't marry the man responsible. And did he? No. She left, took a flat by herself. Was this before or after the baby was born? Oh, months before, as soon as it became noticeable. Great shame her father took that attitude. Took a flat, decorated it herself, everything. Went to work right up to the time. And then, when the baby was born, she wouldn't let her parents see it. It upset her father more than anything, that did. I can imagine, yes. Cut herself off completely. She had what bit of money she'd save, but that's all. Well, didn't her mother help at all? She wouldn't accept help. No one had seen her nor the baby till I got back from Germany. I saw Jeanette. I saw the baby. Couldn't see any way around it. I had to marry her. Because you felt it was the right thing to do? It was the right thing to do. It isn't always. No, but I'd thought about it. You haven't regretted it, have you? I've changed a lot since then. I'm going back ten years. Yeah. I was 31, old enough to have decided something for myself, one way or the other. I'd only got myself to think of. Oh, your parents weren't living then? Oh, I, I don't know who my parents were. I was brought up in a home. Would that have influenced you, do you think? I suppose so, I don't know. It's quite probable. Yes. I mean, it must have had some effect. I looked at the baby and I thought... Yes? If he's my flesh and blood, then he's my responsibility. You must have been so. What, at three months old? Well, reasonably sure, at any rate. anything, he looked like Winston Churchill. I don't mean his appearance, Mr. Carr. Could have been mine, could have been anyone. You must have believed that he was yours. Didn't know what to believe. Well, you got married. Yes. Well, that in itself. Not in a church, in a registry office. Well, that doesn't alter the fact. Well, it's not the same, though. No. It is in law. Oh, in law, maybe. Ten years, Mr. Carr. I know. You've been Jackie's father for ten years. That's a long time. He's not my son. Something happened recently to make you believe that. I know who the father is. I found out this week. What are you looking at? This fly. Are you interested in insects? Yes. Hmm. You're waiting for the mother, eh? A female fly lays up to 150 eggs. It does, yes. Here you are, Sandra. Within two or three weeks of being an egg itself. Yeah? That means, if they all hatch out, that this one fly can produce 25 million flies in about two months. Uh, under favourable conditions, yes. How horrible. Oh, John, there you are. Darling. Yeah, uh, who's the uh, entomologist? It's Jackie Carr. Uh-huh. Darling, could you come in for a minute? It's a patient of mine. Uh, why? Well, I think you might be able to help. Oh, all right. They're dirty. My mother says that. Let's himself get knocked about, that boy. He doesn't. He's not like a boy at all. No, he's got a sensitive nature. More like a girl. Rubbish. I wish he did take after his grandfather a bit more. Well, I'm glad he doesn't. On our side of the family, anyway. Oh, Mum. Oh, I like to see a bit of spirit. He's got plenty of spirit. Oh, Road bicycle or something. Oh, there's no good for Play forcing. football. No, he'll end up like Albert. Bookkeeping. Now, what sort of job is that for a man? Mum, that's not very gracious. 
Looking after every penny in the house the way he does. Every copper. Files for this, files for that. He's extremely generous. Do you know how much this costs? Oh, he buys things. I'll give him that. And the fridge. Do you know how much? Well, I think he ought to let you have a bit of money for yourself. I've got money. I mean for yourself. Well, he doesn't earn much, Mum. No, and he makes it go a long way. It's become a habit. He enjoys adding up the figures. Yes, but every copper, every pound of butter, every bar of soap. I've got money now, anyway. The money you give me. Doesn't ask where that goes, you know. I should think not. You've worked hard all these years, and it hasn't been easy. No. <sighs> Are you all right, love? He saw my checkbook the other day. I think he's found out. Found out what? Yeah. That didn't hurt, did it? No. Good boy, Jackie. Yeah. Do you like flies? Well, I'm very interested in them, yeah. And moths and beetles. Mm. Now wait outside. Go on. You know, I kept a trap door, spider ones. <laughs> Well, uh, what is all this about? Well, Mr. Carr wants to arrange for blood tests for himself and his son. For what purpose? Paternity test. He's worried about Jackie. I see. But, Mr. Carr, I do hope you understand. Although I might be able to find out if you are not the father, uh, that is, if your blood belongs to a particular group, it exclu excludes paternity for this particular child. Uh, there is no test at present known to science that can demonstrate that you are the father, and should your blood group prove to be relevant. So that proves nothing else. You see, another man could be the father if he belonged to the same blood group. But you can't prove he's not my son. I, I said I might be able to show that he wasn't. But if you really do want tests, well, I'm afraid I will have to have uh, blood samples from both the parents as well as from the child. Well, Mr. Carr doesn't want to force his wife to do that. But he can't force her. Apparently, Mrs. Carr is Group O. Yes, but is she M? Is she N? M N? What about the rhesus factor? She was a donor once. I've got a card file if you want it. But she is Group O. Yes, but, sorry, it's not quite as simple as that. You see, there are various groupings. To say that she is Group O is not sufficient. I keep all records filed like that in case, like you see, she's Group O. Yes, well, uh, Group O, um, not good enough. I'm so sorry. Leave it with me, Mr. Carr, and I'll see what I can do. I can't just make her come here, Doctor. No, nor should you. But she is Group O. All I can do is to get my husband to find out what blood group you and Jackie belong to. Would that prove anything? Look, the blood of all human beings falls into one or other of four main groups. All different? Right. Now, the groups are A, B, AB, and O. Now, if your wife is Group O, and you prove to be Group O, then your child must also be Group O. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. I... Mr. Carr, I think you should consider very carefully just what you hope to achieve by these tests. I want to know, that's all. Blood grouping can only exclude paternity. It can't prove it. I'll never know, you mean? Well, the ABO system is capable of proving non-paternity in roughly... One-sixth of all cases. I see. Now, if another system called the MN system is used, that number is increased to one-third. So, it's three to one against, Mr. Carr. I would like to know. And what would you do? I don't know. After all these years, I, I'd just like to know. I'd like to be sure. A hundred pounds altogether. You didn't tell me you were borrowing money. I thought you had money. Only my wages. If your father had known you borrowed money. Well, I had to have money to buy things. Cot, curtains, all sorts of things. You could have asked. But how's my father after he threatened to throw me out? You could have asked me. Oh, yes. I would have given it you. Yeah, I can just see you. Well, I came to see you in that poky little room you had many a time. And knocked and knocked. Oh, I know you did. Knocked and shouted. Yes, I know. Would you listen? Oh, Mum. Broke my heart, it did. Yes, I know. 
You wanted your own way. Yes. People saw you, you know. <laughs> they told me. Yeah. Walking round town with your stomach out a mile and no ring to show for it. Oh, Mum. Oh, it's all right now. You've lived it down now. I was proud of my baby. Brazen. Very proud. I had a lot to put up with. A lot you don't know. Yes. People talk. Yes. But borrowing money. He gave it to me. That's even worse. I never approved of you carrying on with him. I wasn't carrying on with him. He was my employer, my boss. A married man as well. I worked for him. With three children of his own, he should have had more sense. Oh, Mum. Oh, if your father had known about that. Look, he gave me money. I needed it, and I was very grateful to him. Now I'm paying it back. Well, it's taken long enough. Ten years. Well, I couldn't ask Albert. It wouldn't surprise me. Oh, I've said nothing, of course. Yes. He's interested in flies, who is? And he's got a beard and lots of books. And he's taken some blood out of my arm. Who has? Who's taken blood? Well, what for? He's an intelligent boy, eh? Hey, don't you? I feel very sorry for him. Oh, maybe. Coercing me and making tests. I'm not coercing. Uh -huh. Have the father's blood, please. Now, uh, were this a court of law, I would be forced to point out that tests like these, without the mother's blood, have no weight whatsoever. Mr. Carr needs reassurance. Hmm. Even if they all group prove to be group O. I wouldn't call it reassuring at all. Half the population is group O. I know. Hmm. Sandra? Hmm? Ah, can you see the agglutination? No. Ah, neither can I. I've got many other things to do. Yes, darling. Hey, come on. Do you like to help in any way that I can, but I'd like you to have some relevance. He seems to have some reason all of a sudden for being quite certain. Hmm. Did he say what? No. And he may be wrong. But once you begin to have doubts... Yeah. Maybe he was certain. Hmm. a funny sort of way. He's either certain or he has doubts. Oh, darling, don't be so stuffy. What I mean is, he's obsessed. He's group O, anyway. Now, you see, you've got the red corpuscles floating quite freely. There's no agglutination. Thank you very much. Mm. So the boy's got to be group O as well. <coughs> Otherwise, Mr. Carr cannot possibly be the father. I really am worried about him. Who? Father? No, Jack. I mean, what's going to happen to him? So the boy's blood. Okay. Do you want to go off now, Jackie? Okay. Bye bye, love. Well? His name's Michael Capper. He was my boss. I know he is. He's my boss, too. Me and about 500 others. Capper? Oh, everyone knows Cappers. I know them. He was very kind at the time. Very. I'd worked for him a long time. Since leaving school, nearly. Apart from three months in the post oh, office. Oh, please. Good firm, Cappers. Always were. Had a good reputation for keeping staff. I was round there yesterday. Where? Cappers? Round at his house. Albert! I only just walked past. Albert, you mustn't. Nice house. He was a friend. Money. There's money. I've not seen him for years, not since we were married. Oh, oh, Jeanette, friendly with a kappa. Well, why not? Hmm? Oi, polite. Four cars they've got, that I saw. I was very grateful to him. Now, if you had married into the kappas... Mum, Michael Kappa was a happily married man, and he still is. With three children. I saw them. Well, you've no right going round there. Why not? Well, you've not. Oh, I don't know. I like looking at his children. I might go again. He's got a little boy about Jackie's age.
fast asleep now. Jackie, gone off like a light. Yeah. Jeanette. Oh, Mum, clear off. Please. Oh, love. Please, Mum, clear off. Albert Carr. Mm -hmm. I married Jeanette Small. Ah, yes. The lad's ten now, going on eleven. Yes, Jenny came to see me recently. She insists on paying me some money. It's quite unnecessary. It all went through on the firm, I told her. Your lad. I beg your pardon? Your lad. What are you talking about? You paid. You gave her money. Oh, Mr. Carr. Your lad. It's written all over him. Jenny was a good friend. She was also a good worker. I helped her, as any friend should. Ten years of my life wasted. I'm not prepared to hold a discussion at this level. I'm calling the police. Bloody friend! And what do you propose to say to him? The boy is also a grouper. He can take some encouragement from that. <laughs> can he? Yes. I mean, I'll point out to him that it isn't proof or anything like, but on the other hand, there's no reason to assume that Jack I don't think he'll believe you, no matter what you say. Because he'll believe what he wants to believe you. Yeah. I couldn't have sent him away, John. Couldn't you? No. Thank you. No, I could not. Well, supposing you say to him that from the ABO grouping, we have no reason to assume that he is not the father. But if that's what he wants to believe, it may satisfy him. On the other hand, it may not. Supposing he wants to have further tests made? Uh, MN typing? Yes. Oh, no. That would have no validity whatsoever. Not without the mother's blood. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, my name's Michael Capper. I want to see Inspector Fleming. Yes, sir. I inquire the reason. Who are you? Detective Sergeant Ash, sir. Hmm. I want to make a complaint. Can I take the details? No. I'm afraid Inspector Fleming is uh, rather busy at the moment, sir. Well, just tell him I want to see him. Can I say the nature of the complaint? No. I'll see if he's free. He's better be. If something's happened between you, you can tell me, love. No, Mum. You've gone a long time, Albert. Not like him. No. He never goes out hardly. He'll come back. <laughs> He'll come back all right. I didn't say he wouldn't come back. Mum. Yes. Oh, it's nothing, love. It doesn't matter. You can tell me, love. No, it's all right. It's nothing, really. Don't you worry. He walked up my drive. I didn't know who he was or where he came from. <laughs> not at first. And attacked you, sir? Look, I'm not unapproachable. You know that. 
and my staff know that. With all due respect, Mr. Carper, this is not a matter for CID. Oh, there's more to it than that. Albert Carr, his name is. Albert Carr. I'm not vindictive either. No. But he's a clerk, a bookkeeper in my accounts department. In your firm? Yes, I could have him dismissed. I suppose so. I could sue him for slander. Ah, oh, that's a civil matter. Assault. Very proper. Yeah, and be entirely justified. Uh, do you wish to sue this Albert Carl assault? Uh, his wife came to see me recently. Huh? I didn't even recognize her. She used to work for my firm years ago, uh, ten years ago. And you haven't seen her since? No, never. So why did she come to see you? To give me some money. It was pitiful. How much? Fifty pounds. She'd saved it, she said. What money she owed you or what? No, I gave her a hundred pounds ten years ago. She was an employee and... Well, if you like, she was a friend. I see. Unmarried mothers aren't entitled to payment during confinement. She was pregnant? Yes. She was a nice girl, though. Jeanette Small, her name was. Jeanette her. Small. Yeah. Gone to seed a bit now, but at one time she was... Quite... Ten years ago... You gave her a hundred pounds and she came back to repay fifty of it. Yes. I didn't expect to be repaid. I'd forgotten all about it. A friend, you say? Look, I'd only just come on the board and she was attractive, bright, um, independent. I saw quite a lot of her. Well, he was in the forces in Germany. He only came home once in a while. Uh, I think you'd better take legal advice. After one of his visits, she came to see me. Her parents were causing some bother she had nowhere to live. She was pregnant. Well, do you know who the father was? Well, of course, it was him, Albert Carr. And now he's accusing me of being the father. Paternity is a civil matter. It's got nothing to do with the police. Yes, but this fellow's a nut. Next time he might try to kill me. Ah, then it would be something to do with the police. Oh, thanks. I'm no angel. But if I had been the father, I wouldn't have given her the hundred pounds to have the baby. Paternity, I could sue. It would be extremely difficult, if not impossible. Michael Capper, he's known for it. Known? Where? Known, that's all. According to the ABO analysis, there is no reason whatever to suppose that Jackie isn't your son. I didn't know he'd given her money I thought she'd saved. Mr. Carr, did you hear what I said? Why else would he give her money? I don't know. But if you're thinking of going to court, you're going to need a great deal of evidence, which you haven't got. I don't know what to do. I've walked the streets. I've thought all sorts. Have you mentioned it yet to your wife? No, I can't. Why not? I can't. Well, I think you should try. Oh, I don't know. Mr. Carr, I'm thinking of your health and of your mental state. And of the boy, all of you. I can't look at him anymore, not now. Not without thinking. If you want to have further tests made, your wife will have to give me a sample of her blood. Now, supposing you discover that you're not the father. I don't know. You're not going to be able to prove that this Mr. Capper is. One for the women, him. Always has been. As it is, you are Group O, your wife is Group O, and your son is Group O. He's ten years old. You're his father. I don't know what to do, Doctor. I think very carefully. Yes. You've been happy up until now? Yes. You that now, my mum did let you. You've gone off to bed. Mm. You're not good boy. Good night then. Good night, love. But I can't go on. No. I love you, Albert. Yes. I've never loved anyone else. No. Not anyone. No. 
Oh, the town you were in Germany. I hardly ever went out. You were always out. I said I was. Blokes no. running around after you. I saw them. No. I saw them. Oh, I know. And why the hell did you say they weren't to me? I was trying to make you jealous. I love you, Albert. I never wanted anybody else. I wanted you. Forced me into marriage, you did. I didn't force you. I had to marry you. Oh, no. I had to. Oh, no. I was independent. Stuck with a baby? I wasn't stuck with him. I loved my baby. He wasn't mine, though. He was, Albert. He was. Mrs. Carr? Yes? You do know why this blood sample is being taken, don't you? Yes. And you know that you can refuse? You wouldn't believe me. You can't be forced. Your husband cannot force you. I said I would. You agreed voluntarily? Yes, there's no other way. And you also realise that these tests may prove nothing at all? Yes. Your group O, your husband is group O, and your child is group O. Jack is his baby. Mine and Albert's, there was nobody else. Dad? What? Do you want to see my spider? No. It's a female spider. I'm going to mate it. Keep quiet. If I can find the same species. They kill the males. I wonder why. Hello, Mrs. Carr. Bye. Do you want to see what I've got? What's in it? I'll open it. I'm not sure you should. It's all right. <laughs> I think they're great. I'm going to get lots of them. Jackie, come on now. I'm so sorry. Come on, hold. I'd hit him again. I'd, I'd kill him. I'd set fire to his big house and his money. I never thought you had it in you, I'll say that. They all know about him, you know. Oh. All the girls in the store. Oh. I get to know people's reputations. Not my daughter. I get to know. And there's one girl he went with. Well, I won't say. He gave her money, though. What for? Hundred pounds he gave her. What for? To get rid. He wouldn't have gotten near my Jeanette. He stinks from the basement to the soft furnishings. Not Jeanette. Anything, just because he's on the board. I couldn't get it to go out with anyone. I tried, I'll tell you that. He's only got to mention. The woman's got to have tactics, I told her. Has even girls in accounts been out with him? <laughs> He'd have had a hard job with Jeanette. How would you know? I know. She was often out with other men. I made her go out. I wasn't going to let you walk all over her. Walk all over her? You know what I mean. A woman's got to use her head or she'll never get married, I told her. She used her head all right. Well, you would never have made it your mind up. Well, I didn't know much about women, none of them. No. I didn't know much about them. Oh, you knew enough. I was brought up in a home. All she thought about was you. I said she was wasting her time. That's why I wanted a better life for Jackie. Not like I had. I've thought many a time looking at him. When she was having that baby, you should have seen her face. The picture it was. Nothing I said mattered, and nothing a father said. She 
child, M, M. And if I could only inherit M types from both parents, father, M, M, mother, N, N. Joe. Mm -hmm. What is it? It's impossible. How do you mean impossible? I mean impossible. Either Mr. Carr is the father or he isn't. There's nothing impossible about that. I'm not really concerned with who the father is. As a matter of fact, Mr. Carr is M.M. and the son is M.M. Well, in that case, Mrs. Carr should be M.M. Yeah. There's that M test. Look, no hallucination. And there is that M test. You've got a hallucination as large as life. But that's impossible. And that's what I said. If she was M, there'd be no agglutination on the N test. I'll have to check again, but it's not M for mother, it's N for nobody. She's not his mother. I look forward to having the baby so much. Oh, so well. Everybody in the nursing home said how well I looked. You had him in the nursing home? Yes. Which nursing home was that? Mount Park. It's on the birth certificate. I've got it filed. Mr. Carr, can I urge you not to pursue this inquiry any further? There's something wrong. I've got to find out what it is. When your child was born, was he a healthy baby? Oh, very, yes. He weighed eight pounds, four ounces. And when you left the nursing home, where did you go? Well, I had a flat. Michael Capper gave me some money. I said I'd pay him back. Did Michael Capper ever see the baby? Yes, he did once, the first day I got him home. Did Michael Capper have anything to do with the baby? No. It was my baby, mine and Albert's. He just gave you the money? Yes, I said I'd pay him back. Yes. Jackie's our baby. Mine and Albert's. You were in the flat, alone with a small baby? Yes. How did you manage? He was a good baby. Did you have any help? No, I was waiting for Albert. Mrs. Carr. Jackie is not your son. Not this Jackie. He is. Yes, Mrs. Carr. Of course he's your baby. Of course he's your Jackie. What he happened? He wouldn't move. He wouldn't move. One morning I went into him. He was in his cot. He wouldn't move. I took him out in his pram. I walked for miles. He wouldn't move. Where did you walk? Out in the country. But where? I walked past the home where Albert used to be. What home? The orphanage. Albert was brought up there. It's, it's nice, there's fields around it. You went there because of Albert? Yes. Albert was there all his life. Hasn't changed a bit. You took him there in the pram? Yes. I'm buried in there. I buried him nicely. I put leaves on him. Did you have a baby in the pram when you came home, Mrs. Carr? Oh, I prayed for it. Everything. Mrs. Carr? Yes? Did you bring Jackie home from the orphanage? Yes. Yes, he was fine after that. 16th of April. Two-month-old male baby reported stolen from Mount Park Orphanage. Investigations revealed nothing. The 24th of May, the body of a male child, aged approximately two months, discovered in Lawson Wood adjoining the orphanage. No parents to identify, no relatives. Identified by the orphanage staff as being their missing child, Andrew Morgan. Were blood tests carried out at the postmortem? Oh, I don't know. It's all here somewhere. 
John, what'll happen to Jackie now? I suppose he's called Andrew Morgan, really. Unless he can be legally adopted, yes. But will they be allowed to adopt him? That's up to the courts, isn't it, Finn? Well, there are certain charges. Failing to report a death, child stealing. Will he be taken back to the orphanage, then? I'm afraid so. Mr and Mrs Carl have to apply for papers of formal adoption. View of the charges. They can't take him away. Not after ten years. He's their son. He isn't. What's in it? Insects. Shower scene. Get up for a bully shot. Yeah, absolutely.